Ellen McCauley at Pray It Off in Syracuse, New York. Uh, do I still have the microphone, everybody? Can you hear me back there? Okay. Now, one of the things that I want to make sure we all realize is that this is a Catholic weight loss group, and we have God as our pilot. Not our co-pilot. He's our pilot. And so many people, you know, they make these grandiose resolutions. And I love this article here because it says, let God guide your resolutions for life. You say on January 1, God, lead me, guide me, show me the way. What do you want me to do for you this year? And what he said to me, and... I believe it. Continue with Pray It Off, Ellen. This is going to be your session. This is going to be one of the best sessions of the group. He said that to my heart. He also wants us to love one another. I tell my mother every week, she goes, how was your meeting? I go, Mom, it's a love fest. I love them. They love me. And she goes, what about the new people? I go, I already love them. I love them already. I haven't even met them in person. The thing is, God commands us to love our neighbor. God commands us. One of the things that comes out of terrible tragedy sometimes are amazing revelations. That Buffalo Bills game, that hit with DeMar and his cardiac arrest and dying twice on the field, I never saw more people mentioning prayer, God, pray, pray, pray. Prayers are working. I, on national TV, on ESPN, and I'm like, Lord, you're taking this tragedy and you're making something powerful out of it. And guess what? He's awake. He's holding his family's hand. People are seeing that prayer works. When you get a nation, maybe even international, praying, believe me, it makes a difference. And that's the power that we have here. I'm not a skinny mini, but I don't weigh 371. I got a ways to go, but what a gift to have life and have a ways to go. Also, he wants to, us to listen to what the Holy Spirit is telling us. But if we don't shut up, we're not going to hear what God wants us to do. We're like, and that's one of the things that I learned on December 10th or 9th, I can't even remember what day it was, it was a Friday. When I took that bad fall, I said, uh-oh, uh-oh, I broke something, something happened. And I was able to get up and I was able to walk. But I learned that God wants us to slow down a little bit. I'm 68 years old and my mind goes faster than my body. So just move a little slower, Ellen. And he wants us to pray and say, what am I supposed to learn from this, Ellen? And you know what I learned is, I used to think that riding the bike at 345 every morning was a pain in the butt. And I'd give anything to be able to go and ride that bike, but I have to take a break for eight to 12 weeks on that. And I think you learn to be grateful for what you do have. Be assured that your good intentions are noted in heaven if you make a resolution. But try to let God be the one who reminds you of what they are. And let God be your strength and joy. And one of the things is, I do. I wasn't going to make resolutions this year, but I made one. I, I resolved to not fall in 2023. <laughs> Who's with me? Let's not fall in 2023. I'm going to stop right there, Bobby.